Hello everyone. Um, I just received this. Um, this came from Canada. I got it for um, I think $69 shipped to my door. It's a recovery tank. Um, it will it will it should be okay for 134A and probably 22 and 12, or probably not 410A. Um, I think 410 needs 400 psi tank. This is uh, rated at 344. Uh, you'll notice there's no uh, there's no DOT. There's no tear weight on this. There's no um, there's no stamps of when it was tested uh, or if it was even pressure tested, which concerns me a little. But I'm not going to be transporting it. And um, this is the uh, first time I'm going to recover in it. The welds look reasonably okay. I, I um, uh, we're going to give it a try. Uh, it should be filled with with nitrogen. And we're going to put a, a set of gauges on it and see if that's true. Um, if it is full of nitrogen, or even if it's not, um, we're going to put it under a vacuum today and uh, see what it looks like. Uh, again, this is a Vivor. I looked online. Uh, I certainly didn't see any negative reviews about, about this company. I did see some where people were using them and, and recovering successfully. Um, this weld here doesn't look... It, it's probably it's probably uh, strong, but it, it it doesn't look real real great. The rest of them look okay. Um, I wish I had a scale to put it on because it would be nice to measure the uh, refrigerant going in here. I I don't think I have a scale that will measure um, uh, low low. Uh, well, these are open, so I know there's no there's no there's no nitrogen in this. Well, that's that's kind of sad. Um, Let's crack this and make sure there's, yeah, no, there's nothing in it that's empty. Well, what we'll do then is we'll put it under vacuum and we'll, uh, we'll see if it holds vacuum at least. I'm, I'm sure it will hold that, but let's, uh, let me grab the vacuum pump and we'll, we'll see what we got here. That's uh, a little concerning that there's no nitrogen in this tank, but, but we'll, uh, we'll start here. Vacuum pump. So that's that's on camera. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. And we're gonna get a gauge set. In my uh, trusty Harbor Freight gauges, which I bought a couple years ago, and I think I've used them twice. Not quite well, actually. Um, the hoses aren't. You know, you can tell they're not. They're certainly not great hoses. They they're okay. Um, we're rated for 12, 22, and 134A. I know it used to be taboo to mix it. Uh, I've only ever used it on 134. Um, but you can tell they're kind of stiff. They're not really nice and flexible like you would like. Um, interesting, these are marked low and high. Um, and lows on the blue and highs on the red. And the way these tanks are set up is uh, one of these two sides has a long tube that goes, that goes down to the bottom. And one of them um, it just has an opening up here at, at, at the top of the tank. So one of them would give you liquid, with the tank upright, one of them, and there's Freon in this, one of them would, would give you liquid and one of them would give you gas. There's no standard in the industry which one is red and which one is blue. Um, I, I don't know what they mean by low and high side because there's really not a low and high side, it's just a tank. But um, we're going to hook them up with the same colors, maybe we can figure that out. Um, Let's, um, let's see what's going on here. So we will make sure you can see us here. Yeah. Well, it's got a Schrader, that's interesting, okay. This hose is going to need an adapter. This hose? meant to go on. 
I think both of these are like that. Just like an acme. It is an acme for what it looks like. I, think, I might have an acme on the vacuum pump. Let's see. This is probably a 3H trade or not an acme. Right. All is not lost. It's really great of Robin Air to provide this. Uh, when does that ever happen? When do you ever buy something and you have the right adapter um, that comes with the product? That never happens anymore. Way to go, Robin Air. And there's a, when you when you, these these are O-ring, um, so you just make sure there's a gasket and there's an O-ring in there. Um, you don't need to put a wrench on this or anything like that. You'll feel the O-ring seat. And that should be plenty. I don't think I'll even need to take this out. No, there's no, uh, no problem there. Okay, we're going to close these just to make sure we can pull a vacuum in our gauge set. Okay, I got this moved around so you can see these gauges a little bit better. I think uh, I think you can read those. Um, what we're going to do is uh, turn the vacuum pump on. Uh, we're going to make sure these valves are closed. Uh, make sure these valves are closed. We are going to uh, turn the vacuum pump on. It will now evacuate um, the manifold. We're going to open these valves. And now it's going to pull down up to these valves. You can see it pull down immediately. Now when I open uh, when I open these, I want to open them all the way till they back seat. So you feel them, you don't have to... You know, just to, just to feel them uh, tighten in the other direction, they'll back seat that valve. We're going to let this um, pull down for maybe 10 minutes. And then I'll bring you back and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Okay, it's been, uh, it's been running for about 10 minutes now. It's got it pulled down. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut these valves. Uh, turn off the vacuum pump, and we're going to leave it set, I don't know, 20 minutes or half an hour and see if, uh, see if we lose any vacuum. I did, uh, I did put a uh, trader cap on that, um, and just because it bothered me. So, so I put that on, this way if we bump this lever or anything like that, we should be okay. Actually, um, let me turn this off now. Cut off the pump. And then we'll leave it set, and we'll be back. Okay, we're back uh, about a half an hour later, and uh, it did drop a little bit. Um, I'm going to say that's more than likely in the gauges or in this fitting here. Um, when we have when we have a little pressure in this, uh, after we cover the first one, I'll bubble check all this stuff and see if we got a leak in the valve or something like that. I don't want to fill it with air. That's probably the worst thing I could do. Um, I could fill it with compressed air, or I could even I could even hydro test it. But um, I, we certainly don't want to get any water in here. So we'll um, we'll see how it goes. We'll fill it up. We'll recover that uh, one charge, and um, and we'll see if we can bubble test it and 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 go go from there. Okay.